My wife and I bought a kayak and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hi, I'm Mike Bishop with Remax Twin City here in Waterloo. And today I wanted to talk to you about my experiences kayaking. So I should start off by saying uh, my wife and I, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video, we bought a kayak. Uh, we're both novices. We uh, did a little kayaking when we were younger, but we haven't kayaked in years. So we went out and bought an inflatable kayak. And I'm going to talk about what it's like to kayak in and around uh, the Waterloo area. So before I get into it, let's talk about uh, the type of kayak I bought and the reason why I bought that kayak. Uh, first of all, as I said, I bought an inflatable kayak on Amazon and uh, the reason really why I, we got it was because um, we weren't sure how much we'd like kayaking and we didn't want to jump all the way into the deep end to get, you know, the roof racks, a really great kayak. Uh, we wanted something that could easily be deflated and put into my wife's car and then we could, uh, you know, go to different spots and, and pump it up. So that's the reason why we bought the inflatable kayak. So I have uh, two stories to tell you today. The first is us kayaking on lakes and the second is on the Grand River. So uh, I'll talk about the lakes first. The experience on the Grand River wasn't that great, um, but we'll get into it. So one of my friends told me about this. It's the Grand River Parks membership and I'll put a link in the description below. But what it is, for $150 a year, it allows you to access, I believe it's 12 conservation parks uh, around Waterloo. And that's really great because my wife and I can uh, bring our kayak in, uh, do some nice um, kayaking on the lake, and then go home. And, uh, and it's free, obviously, with your membership. Um, I believe in Waterloo, you can actually get these memberships from your public library if you didn't want to spend the money. So have a look at that as well. So what's really awesome about the membership is, as I mentioned, you can go to 12 different lakes, you can explore different things. But here, even in Waterloo, if you want to go to the Laurel Creek uh, Conservation Park, um, which is, you know, five minutes away, you can do that. So we like that just uh, if we're thinking, OK, let's go for a quick kayak. We can zip there, zip back. If we want more of a day trip, we can go further out and uh, explore other lakes. So as I mentioned before, we actually did kayak down the Grand River as well. Um, this didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. Uh, along the Grand River, there's all these access points that you can take. And so what we did, uh, we parked one car at the covered bridge, um, and then we drove further north to the Wilson's Flat um, access point and we thought I think it was about six minute drive between the two so we thought we would uh, just take our kayak it's a tandem kayak and have a nice leisurely um, you know kayak down the river pretty much letting the kayak uh, sorry the uh, stream do most of the work that is not how it turned out so I wasn't aware of this but uh, along the Grand River the Grand River is very shallow and I knew that part but I didn't know how shallow it actually is. So as you're going down, uh, there's parts where it was very nice. You know, as I said, it was exactly what I had hoped for. The, um, it might not have been very deep, but we had no issues. Where we did run into issues is throughout the, uh, the Grand River, it gets extremely shallow. And when I say extremely shallow, like three inches deep, um, and so we had to keep jumping out of the uh, uh, kayak, dragging it over these rocks. Uh, again, remember, it's an inflatable kayak, so I was thinking by the end of this, this kayak is toast. It wasn't. It actually held up very, very well. Um, but we had to keep doing that all the way down. And this beautiful uh, kayaking trip that I thought would be a nice, you know, calm, relaxing trip took three and a half hours. Uh, it was really hard. At one point, we have a little um, uh, rudder or fin at the back. Um, I actually had to take it off because I was worried it was going to actually get ripped off um, from the it being so shallow. And the only problem with that is when you're in non-shallow areas, then your kayak uh, doesn't go as smoothly. So 
at the end of this three and a half hours, we got down to the cover bridge. Uh, we were exhausted. We just were happy to get out of the river. So that was our experience on the Grand River. Before I end it there with the Grand River experience, I should say there was some amazing points. So um, at one point we were going down the river and an osprey came flying down, went diving into the water, I guess grabbed its fish and then took off and it was fantastic to watch. Also, again, when I wasn't jumping out of the kayak to drag it over rocks, it was extremely peaceful, very beautiful uh, and definitely worth the ride. Now, there were other people there with um, like hard canoes um, and not inflatable. And uh, I think they actually had a better um, go of it because when they hit the shallow parts, I think they could keep going uh, a bit more. Now, did they have to jump out? Yes, I still saw them jump out, but maybe I was jumping out more often because I was in the inflatable uh, uh, kayak. So if you want to give it a go, still give it a go. So there you go. That's my experiences kayaking around Waterloo. Remember, I'm a beginner kayaker and I would definitely suggest getting out there, exploring nature. It's a lot of fun. For those people that have a lot more experience at kayaking than I do, I would love your comments below. Uh, please tell me places that you love to go. And also, when it comes to the Grand River, did I just pick the wrong spot? Are there deeper spots that you would recommend? I'd really appreciate that too. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.